Hey Cruiser, welcome back to Cruiser Chris Craft. I'm Josh Wells, and we have an exciting episode today. Our risers and manifolds have catastrophically failed. We dumped six gallons of fresh water and possibly some salt water, just to be exciting, into the engines. We don't know if we just ruined the engines. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Let's get started. Thanks for stopping by, Cruiser. We have some decisions to make today. We had a problem starting the engines and have discovered that the risers and manifolds have leaked coolant into the engine. First, I had to hop in and spend a few hours inspecting around the engine. This allowed me to get a good sense of what needed the most attention. I quickly learned that the manifolds and their hoses had fallen into disrepair. And right away, I was concerned that water wasn't gonna be able to flow properly around the engine. Here's a pro tip, Cruiser. If your engine doesn't start, take some time and evaluate the problem. You shouldn't crank down on it multiple times like I did. As soon as I left the marina, I hopped on the phone with Marine Engine Parts and ordered new manifolds, gaskets, hoses. All the packages came so quickly, it felt almost like Christmas. Welcome back, Chris Crafters. So, as you know, we are changing out the manifolds and risers of the engines. We've had some problems with them. We found out that these things were probably 12 years old. They were, <laughs> they should have been replaced at least twice before now. And the manufacturer that we uh, went with was Bar. We got their risers and manifolds that match the original engine specs that were on the boat. If you have never used Marine Engine Parts, we highly recommend them. Now, Marine Engine Parts did not pay us to do this, but they were amazing. We called them, they walked us through all the parts and pieces from gaskets to kits to everything we needed. And they were here in under 24 hours. It was absolutely amazing. So Lighthouse Marine and MarineEngineParts.com. Thank you very much. It was amazing. So these long boxes, should be the manifolds. The manifolds weigh about 45 pounds. So just the cast iron manifold weighs 45 pounds. Two risers per box, all the gaskets, and the block off plates. So let's open it up and see what's inside. So this is an asbestos piece, so don't sniff it. But you have the six bolts that go with it. Uh, those are three eighths, uh, half thread, and then you got your plugs. Very pretty. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know if you've lifted one of these, but I'm an old man. So when you're lifting something like this, <laughs> lift with your legs. We're gonna paint these before they go on the boat. I think these are still sticky from paint. They're, uh, so bar manufacturer did a great job. These are almost exactly what came off the boat, if not exactly what came off the boat originally. You're gonna want sealant and Loctite when you do put these on. We are scraping the boat, all the gasket off the old boat, and getting out the old ones. A lot of the old bolts are rusted on there because that thing's been on there 12 years. But let's get into the risers. Let's take a peek at these. So marine power engines, I am still floored about how quick they came. They were great. And the reps over there were absolutely helpful. So inside of this box, oh, it's like Christmas. Every, inside this box, oh, is another box. I couldn't afford a present this year, so I got you this box. That's what I got you! We have another gasket, the plug, and then we have all the bolts, and, uh, and it's a high quality gasket too, so it's good. So this is the matching riser to what came off of the boat. So this is the original. Now we're gonna paint all of these silver or gray because that was the original color of the marine power engine. And so we're just gonna match what's already there. So it's gonna look great. This stainless steel plate keeps all the water out of your engine. This is the only thing between you and a brand new engine. This goes down to the bottom of the boat, or to the boat. This is gonna be at the, I guess, manifold, then your plate, and then from your plate, your other gasket. They all line up to block off the water flow so that the raw water never gets into your closed water. 
it's going to be fresh water only. So you're going to be in great shape. These lifesavers. When we went out to buy new parts from Marine Power, Marine Power was really, really helpful. They were really nice, but they made it pretty clear that they were not the original manufacturer of that motor. And so it got me thinking a little bit about the history of Chris Craft and how Chris Craft has changed hands so many times and records are lost for the owners of Chris Craft out there that are watching this and on the adventure with, a, with me and my family. Well, we, we feel your pain of how do you find out about the boat? How do you find out about your boat? So at one point, our boat had original Chris Craft engines in it. When that got repowered in 1994, the Chris Craft engines were replaced with Marine Powers because Marine Powers were a great sport engine and they were well, very similar to the Chris Craft engine. So they lined right up, which was perfect. Now, when we are dealing with the Marine Power today, one of the things, one of the challenges is the new Marine Power company is into aluminum manifolds and aluminum accessories on the engines. Their engines are super sophisticated and they try and cater to the older engine. But our engine's right at that cusp of not being catered to. So do we upgrade our components and deal with all the headaches that that causes or do we go find an outside manufacturer? For my case, it was more beneficial. I don't think I'm gonna to try to get any speed because the difference between my manifolds and risers and aluminum is probably 30, 40 pounds per riser and manifold. So if we would have gone with aluminum, it'd be a lot lighter. Ideal that we don't use as much fuel, but we're a cruiser. We're never going to be trying to get to the best fishing spot. We're never going to be getting to the best camping spot. Our job is to have a good time. And so adding a few hundred pounds of weight to the vessel really does not bother me at all. So we went with cast iron. And one of the best manufacturers that we found really is Bar. They've done a great job. The supplier we used was marineengineparts.com. They're known as Lighthouse Marine Parts. Great facility, guys there, really, really good, uh, really, really knowledgeable, and got the parts out to us less than 12 hours. Thank you again. It was absolutely amazing. We really couldn't be happier with the service we got from Lighthouse Marine Parts. Having an engine match the original as close as possible is really important to us because we want Stargazer to get back together like she just came out of the factory. We can learn a lot from Chris Craft. We need to fully appreciate the workmanship and celebrate getting it back together as close as we can. The first step is to repaint over the black. Not that we don't like it, but because we want to match the color of the original engine. Sammy and I are going to sand them down first, then we're going to paint them that silver gray color we love so much. So there were two snakes living there on the roof. One snake turns to the other snake and says, hey, are we poisonous? The other snake says, why would you ask that? Well, I just put my lip. <laughs> Did you not understand it? I just bit my lip. Okay, so we have to plane these off, have to clean all this off, and then we have all the parts from the boat, which we have to 
take off and put on and then mark which is which. But you're gonna make exciting. I'm using 80 grit sandpaper to hone the exhaust ports flat. While this may look small, this is no easy feat. You want to do this on the bench because you're going to also have to hone the engine block later while you're on the boat to make a tight seal. As you can see, it takes a lot of elbow grease. My next task was to remove the old fittings from the manifolds in hopes that we could reuse them in the new ones. However, this task was a little trickier than I thought. They were so old that the plastic was brittle. Stargazer deserves something more dependable than that. So we ordered a new bronze fittings. Well, it's Loctite. That is tight, 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 tight. Hey cruisers, good to see you. Hey, we got another box in for marine parts. These should be our hoses and all the fittings that were on the outside of all the risers and manifolds. The ones that were on prior to this were plastic. So we decided to move them all to brass so that we can either reuse them next time or make sure that we have good fittings at least for this time. Pulling them off was just gonna destroy them. So we decided that was a bad idea. These should be all of our exhaust hoses in here. So be careful opening them, but if you've ever seen a three inch exhaust hose, you're not gonna split that bad boy open. These should be what we need. These are pretty cool. These are wire filled. Magic mirror, tell me today, did all my friends have fun at play? All my friends had fun today. I see David's having a special day today. These are for hot water. Uh, water to go through. These are what we're looking for right here. So this is where the money is. So we have new 90s with one inch hoses. Then we have the brass straight on fitting. So these, hoo -hoo, these are like gold. These are pretty cool. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and then we have a four inch in here. Hoo -wee. We are in good shape. It's gonna be fun. Again, we are always very appreciative of companies like Marine Engine Parts. They are so committed to helping us on our journey, but I also want to thank our marina. They helped us remove the old manifolds, told us what we needed to replace them, and gave us a heads up on the water fittings. They're just great people. They may not agree with everything I do, but they're always there to give me a pat on the back and say, attaboy for trying. We always need people like that in our lives. I appreciate you. So now we have our three quarters by one inch hose bibs in. And once those hoses slide in, you can attach two clamps and you're good. To ensure extra security, I'm gonna use red gasket sealant and seal the threads. I'm running a quick bead around the exterior, but being really careful not to get any on the inside. Once I screw them in, I'm gonna gently wipe off the excess so there's no visible residue. You definitely wanna make sure that you're wearing gloves for this cruiser.
I think these bad boys are ready for the boat. Thanks for joining us today, Cruiser. We love you. We hope you'll join us again when we put the preparation to the test and install Stargazer's new manifolds. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below and keep up with our adventures. Until next time, I'm Josh Wells, and remember, as Kenneth Graham said, there's nothing, absolutely nothing, so much worth doing as simply messing around in a boat.